Hey everyone, I've been heads down producing the coroutines course, so regular videos have been a little bit light. But for today, I've got a video for you from the course about different ways that we can put Kotlin flows together. Enjoy. Once we start working with flows, it's easy to end up with several of them, and sometimes we need those flows to converge. So in this video, we're going to explore different ways to bring multiple flows together into a single flow. In this code, we've got a function that creates a flow for a basketball team. And that flow just emits a random number of goals, scoring one, two, or three points, depending on the kind of goal. And to stagger the goals a little bit, I also added a delay for some random amount of time. Now, since a basketball game needs two teams, we can create a flow for the home team and another for the away team. And by the way, I'm passing in a seed value for the random number generator. And that way, if you run this code yourself, you'll get the same random values that I'm getting. So each flow emits the goals that are scored for one team. The problem is that because these flows are collected separately, we can't get a play-by-play -play report of the game. You can see here, we get the goals for each team individually, but we can't tell when these goals were scored in relation to each other. How many goals does the home team score before the away team scores? With the setup, we can't tell. So instead, we can put these two flows together so that they're collected into a single flow. And to demonstrate this, we can use a top-level function that's named merge. This function takes a varArg parameter of flows that you want to put together. And in our case, we can simply call merge, passing it the flow for the home team and the flow for the away team. And then we just collect it like usual. And now when we run this, we can see not just who scored what, but the order in which each goal was scored. So we can see the game unfold as it happens. The merge function can be a great choice for any time that you want a single flow to emit all of the values from multiple sources. So when you're collecting the same kind of data from multiple data sources. Now, instead of simply emitting each individual value from each of the upstream flows, Sometimes we want to take a value from each of the flows and put them together in some kind of way or run a calculation on them. The code that we've got here can tell us when each team scores a goal, but if we want to know which team is winning at any given moment, well, we'd have to add up the points ourselves. So instead, let's update our code to announce the new score anytime that a team gets a goal. So first, let's come down here and create a data class to hold the current game score. Next, instead of having this flow emit the goals, I'm going to tack onto this flow a call to the scan function. A scan is also known as a running fold, and I'm using it here just as a way to sum up the points for the team. So each team starts with zero points, and whenever they score a goal, the points get added to that total. So the flow that's returned by this team function no longer emits goal objects, it emits the current score for the team. Now we're ready to combine the value from each team's flow into a score object. So instead of calling the merge function here, we'll use another top level function named combine. Whereas merge simply forwards each emitted value into the downstream flow, combine is meant to put values together from each of the flows. And that means we'll need to give it a function that knows how we want to put them together. So to start with, we can just pass a lambda that puts the running score together into a single score object. And let's update our collector to print out the score whenever the team gets a goal. There we go. Okay, let's give this a run and see what we get. So now we can see the current score of the game from the time when it starts, when it's zero to zero, until the game is over when it's 17 to 13. 
As we can see, the combined function calls its lambda each time that it receives a value from one of the upstream flows and passes to it the latest value from each flow. Combine is a good choice whenever you're collecting different kinds of data that ultimately need to go together. And finally, there are some occasions when we simply need to pair up values from two upstream flows. So for example, in this code, we're no longer playing basketball, we're playing soccer, and we've got one flow that announces when a player takes a shot and another flow that tells us whether the shot was successful. In this case, we want to pair up the player who took the shot with the result, whether the player scored a goal or missed. So each value emitted by the player's flow will correspond directly to a value emitted by the shot's flow. As you'll recall with the combine function, anytime a new value was emitted from an upstream flow, the latest value from each flow was provided to the lambda. And that's not what we want here. Instead, we want to pair up each value from the first flow with its corresponding value from the second flow. So in other words, we want the first value from players to be paired up with the first value from shots. We want the second value from players to be paired up with the second value from shots and so on. For this, we're gonna to turn to a function named zip. And unlike combine and merge, the zip function only works on two flows, no more, no fewer. Just like its collection and sequence counterparts, it's an extension function. So we'll call it on one flow and pass it the second, along with a lambda that has arguments representing the value from each flow. Unlike combine, the zip function will suspend until both flows have emitted a new value, at which point it'll call the lambda and emit its result. And of course, we need to collect the values from the zipped flow, so let's do that. I'm just putting the player and shot together into a pair so I can destructure them down here and announce whether the player's shot was successful. Let's give this a run and see what we get. So zip is used to pair up corresponding values that are emitted from each flow. So when we've got multiple flows that need to converge into a single flow, we've got a few options that we can choose from. Merge is used to simply forward every element from every upstream flow into the downstream flow. Combine will emit into its downstream flow whenever any of its upstream flows provides a value. It'll use the latest value from each upstream flow and you can use the lambda to put those values together however you want. And zip will emit into its downstream flow whenever both of its upstream flows have provided a new value. And like combine, you use the lambda to put the two values together however you want. Hey, thanks for watching. The full course is still in early access, but we're planning to finally open it up for another round of enrollment next week. So if you haven't already joined my newsletter, head over to newsletter.typealias.com so you can know as soon as it opens. Also, I'm pleased to announce that we'll have a live stream next Wednesday at the usual time. Details are in the description. I'll see you then.